Man, I, I, I got to tell you, I never really came out before a mayor and, and Oscar, so that's pretty amazing. I can, I can live on that alone. Thank you so much to uh, Mike Bloomberg, and thank you, Oscar, for talking about uh, waste. Um, that's an important moment because too many people in our world feel like they are disposable. And so we know that nothing should go to waste, especially people and also food. And that's why we're here today, because the city of Milan has created waste-free food hubs throughout the city. And they are the earshot winner for this year. Please get the city of Milan, the Waste Free Hubs, a loud round of applause. <laughs> Post the pandemic, this is a serious issue. No one, and I mean no one, on our planet should go to bed hungry. No one across this amazing planet of ours should go to bed thinking they won't know where their next meal comes from. That's the amazing part with the city of Milan with their waste-free hubs are doing. They have made a goal back in 2019 to have the waste food that's just going to waste by 2030. That's amazing. They are literally creating meals by saving food that can go to communities. For so many times in right here in America, we've had something called food deserts. And food deserts, which is really not a right term, because honestly, deserts are natural. And so food scarcity places are places where people can't get a good meal. They don't have supermarkets. They can't get food for their community. We've seen that, and that causes so many health problems. It causes diabetes. It causes concerns and cancer. It causes those communities to suffer. So if we can do what the city of Milan is doing, and cities across this globe and create places where we can save food and connect the dots to climate because that is the driving force because we won't have food if we continue to have droughts and wildfires. That is one of the contributors to the problem that is going on with food scarcity. So if we can be in a position to do the city of Milan does, it would be amazing. Let me actually share a story because obviously I'm president of the Hip Hop Caucus, but I'm also, as you can tell, a reverend too. And so I want to share this as I close. One of the most amazing things is, is just no matter whatever religious background or faith, or whatever faith you may have, is this, is that there's this thing called the Bible. And one of the things about that is that in that, it's an amazing story that there's called the Gospels. And in that, there's only one story that appears in every single gospel. And that's when Jesus feeds the 5,000. It's the only story that appears in all of the gospels. To let you know how important, even back then, the most important miracle was feeding the people. Let us still be in a place where we are doing a miracle day today by feeding the people. We can do it. Humanity can save the world. Thank you so much.